welcome back guys and let's go to Uban so tonight it's spared to Uban and then tomorrow from Uban to Newman, Warawandu yeah I don't understand these guys anymore and I'm not trying to do either And the text message that I received was Trailers ready, 7 paperwork 8 But yeah, okay Have to wait a bit in a depot So, not much I can do Yeah, right I got in depot Parked up my trailers Kept my dolly Because it's a good one, it's good Good tires, everything So, yep and went to drop my paperwork pick up the cover sheet with the lot that I'm doing look in the docks trailer's ready what? so yeah I hooked them up went over the way bridge done all that went in made myself a coffee went back to the window paperwork ready oh well 6.30 and I'm leaving <laughs> I don't know how that works but yeah it's only that I'm getting uh, to Uban a bit early if I can get out of here because the time when all the blurry airplanes are coming and sometimes you have to push your way come on bud so yeah I'm not gonna take Tonkan Hawaii this time of the day. Now, why? We'll go through Red Hawaii, then Tonkan Hawaii. So, 6 30. 7, 30, 8, 30, 9, 30, 10 o'clock I will be in Uban Well, 10, 10, 15 Just hoping to get a parking spot there My dog run, I just got in a depot And I spoke with him because uh, he's uh, bringing my uh, freezer up there. So I spoke with him to get uh, that one set up as a uh, lead for me. Because now behind I got. Uh, a chiller and a dry pan so like to keep the freezer and chiller together at the front as much as possible because sometime with the uh, Three trailers, if they hold straight behind you, it's very hard to see that uh, little light in a corner uh, of the trailer, which is showing if the fridge or freezer is uh, working or it's in alarm mode or it's uh, stopped or something. 
on this uh, Thermo King ones that we got there is a LED light with uh, letter T if it's white it's good if it's yellow it's in the alarm mode it's working but it's got an alarm and if it's red then it's problem so being uh, second and third it's a bit hard to see it on the third one first and second one yeah you can still see okay even second one sometimes I have to move the trailers behind me a bit so I can <laughs> actually see if they sit too straight Stupid <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe these people he, he wanted to overtake me through the inside in a roundabout Stupid people. Smile, mate. You'll be on a YouTube. You'll be a superstar. <laughs> This is what we have to pour up on daily basis with clowns like this.
Come on, mate. Wake up. about putting on some lights. on Tonkin. Now now let's try to head to Urban.
these worksite lights are not very friendly. is gone it's already March because it's 7.30 and it's dark yeah there is no uh, daylight saving in WA it's the same all year around and it's dark outside just past uh, Moshe not long now until we get to Bindun and then after Bindun won't be any more villages that we pass through until uh, a small village of Paitara and then uh, Dalualanyu and of course 20 kilometers after it's Uban
H is um, like 75% capacity so it's uh, loaded quite good but my uh, drive band it's really really light flow it's uh, only single pallets it's no double stack or anything and even that is not uh, all the way to the back doors I still got enough room to put in more, six more pallets so it's <laughs> not even 50% of the white capacity all right passing through Bindun well my plan was get to Uban, park up, go and have a shower, in the meantime maybe my dog runner was gonna be there, hook up the triple together and then leave in the morning. Well, that's not the case anymore. Something happened with my trailer. Not sure what. Looks like uh, somehow it got damaged. can't figure out how got them is that bad that uh, they need now to transship everything from that one into another one so they had to put that one in a dock another uh, empty trailer in a dock next to and uh, unload everything from this one on the floor and then reverse loading into the other one Which is gonna take a bit of time so we'll be there after midnight some sometime it's not such a big issue because I'll uh, deal with hooking up in the morning on daytime even better Yeah, just that uh, I have to wake up half an hour earlier. So oh well, things happen. So now, very soon we're getting up hill, and I'll be. taking this guy in the front of me alright so uh, one of the viewers from Melbourne, it's asking a question. What is the secret of reversing a rotrine and 
and uh, how long did uh, took me to be able to do it? Well, secret. It's not much of a secret. It's just a um, some very important rules that you need to follow and you need to follow them very very strict first when you reverse during the reversing you use only one mirror on a driver side or if you choose to use the left one then you choose you use only that one if you look on your driver side mirror and you see that the trailer is going okay the lolly is going okay the other trailer are going okay you look on your left and you see them crooked well, they are not crooked, but this is how you see them in a mirror. So straight away, what you're trying to do is to correct. It's wrong. That mirror is not 100% accurate. I mean, if you have a look on a car, even on a car, it says objects in this mirror may appear close as that they are. Yeah, because this is how that mirror is uh, made, that uh, uh, glass is different. Uh, so, you can only look into that one to see the position of your trailer, but not how your trailer is reversed. Just look, ah yeah, it's nothing. It's, uh, I'm not hitting anything, it's uh, away from everything, good. Reversing, you look into this driver side mirror. You only look in that to see the position of the trailer, or if you have a blind spot on this one, again, not to guide yourself, just to look where the trailer is, not to hit something. On, or to buckle up the dolly in the in between the trailers and stuff like that. Second, it has to do everything about watching what the trailers are doing and be a step ahead their intention. If you see that the trailer is intended to go the wrong way, you must correct it before it's actually doing that. Now, another thing is involved in here. Do not over steer to over correct and everything has to be done on a low speed steady and fast moving hands quick steering don't steer normal because you're losing too much time and everything goes the wrong way if you can't steer fast, reduce your speed to a minimum. Don't stop to do a dry steering to create a uh, flat spot on a tire. But reduce the speed to almost stopping so you can uh, have time to do the necessary steering. Because of course on the trucks 
you have to turn the steering wheel a quite few extra turns than on a car. And uh, as long as you do all this, you should be able to get the hang of uh, reversing a uh, road drive. Now, it does take a little bit of time. It's not gonna happen overnight. You start reversing, you stop up, stop, go forward and start again. Do not try to correct from where you stop up because phew, excuse me, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna buckle up. So as soon as you see that Okay, I stopped up. Good. Go a bit forward, straight her up, and start again. Um, now, let's not forget that you have a long trailer. It's a 45 foot trailer behind you. The dolly is short, so the dolly will uh, go left and right three times as fast as the trailer goes. I mean, if the trailer is going to the left five degrees, the dolly is already been. 15 20 degrees and the more you push the quicker it goes because it's shorter and it's got uh, it's turning left and right a lot quicker than your uh, long trailer so you have to pay a lot of attention to this if you want your trailer uh, your dolly to go towards right you need to push the trailer towards left, the back of your trailer. So basically, your dolly goes in the same direction that your uh, back wheels of the prime mover goes. So if you push your uh, wheels towards right, your back trailer, the back of the trailer will go towards left, and that will push the dolly towards right. Once you have the second trailer, it's completely the opposite. So your second trailer always goes in the same direction with your uh, first one. But, again, because the doll is short in between them and they are the two long trailers you have to maneuver very quick not let the dolly turn too sharp because you'll bend the drawbar you'll buckle up everything everything will get destroyed and yeah how I said correct it before start to go and don't over steer my biggest challenge <laughs> well my biggest challenge was two years ago reversing the triple and I had to do that for uh, about 200 meters it 
was, uh, was a lot of sweat involved a lot of names brought down and uh, it took me 15 to 20 minutes and that just because I missed a left hand turn on a dirt road so no when I saw the turn I said oh crap there was no way I can go hard on the brakes on a dirt road fully loaded no so slowly slowly I reduced and by the time I was already 200 meters on the other side of the intersection choice was reverse back or drive forward for another uh, 5 kilometers and there was no room to do a U-turn with a triple I knew that very well would only be done with a U-turn in there because it was a small parking bay long but was not wide so it was only possible to do with a semi-trailer U-turn in there so my choice was to go there unhook the first trailer with the dolly behind bring it back go back get the second trailer with the dolly behind go back bring the third one and then put everything together so all that will take me probably a good hour and I was really stubborn not to do that and I managed to reverse it but yeah it was a quite a bit uh, of uh, back and forth back and forth back and forth until I managed to uh, do it. it was like the, the movements of reversing that was like a snake a lot of uh, bigger eyes to be done so just because it was an extra two pivoting points behind my second trailer where the dolly was attached to the trailer and the turntable on the third trailer and because of that two extra pivoting points was a lot of uh, steering to be done I'm not considering myself an expert there may be people and I think they are which are uh, a lot better than me I'm not saying that I'm the best but yeah I can say that I can reverse a double for long distance without problem and slowly slowly if I'm in the big pile of dodo even a triple <laughs> so uh, yeah saying that we are almost at Uber in a bit and this is Uban
like was raining around here. Yeah. You can see some puddles. So let's see what's happening in this messy yard. Well, it's 9.45, so I'm reasonable early. So, I may be lucky. Well, looks like someone is already having problem there. base I came early. Looks like it doesn't make any difference.
we see what this guy is doing it's one of our subbies he's, he's staying here he's going I'll ask him Okay, now I have to be extremely quick. I got two choices, but Like this guy's just left. So I'm gonna park here. And uh, call the night. guys in the morning till then you have a good night and take care thank you for watching good morning guys and welcome back so let's uh, go hunting found out where my uh, trailer is yeah yeah I'm already awake man. I need three five two eight. This three five one five is not mine. Three five three nine, not mine.
from just a fridge beautiful and a dry pan at the back uh. <laughs> no lights <laughs> okay so Houston we have a problem Okay. Can go anywhere before we fix up this bloody problem. With the lights. the screwdriver Alright, so usually that means the pins are a bit loose inside. Well, also it's a bit broken here, so what we do is open up this pins a little bit. You can't do it too much because they break, but just a bit so they make a good contact when they go in. See how this one is and how I open this ones. Well, this one doesn't want to go and go on the side. Beautiful. Now the same story goes in here. this all right okay so now it's going in hard and it's staying there okay so now we got lights yay Magic! Okay. Now, this one. Ah. Uh, may create a problem. It doesn't. Okay. A bit worn out, but it still last.
can make a coffee and go.